Community groups in western Eugene are demanding action in regards to the J.H. Baxter facility. They want it cleaned up and turned into an EPA Superfund site. KZI 9 News reporter Julio Mora Rodriguez spoke with group members about their efforts. Community members here in the Bethel district have been living with the pollution from the J.H. Baxter facility for years. Many hope a Superfund site becomes a reality. We can't, we can't grow anything on our property. Um, everything is, they say everything is polluted, so you're not supposed to even dig in the gr ground. The pleas of residents have been heard by local community organizations. An important step in getting Superfund funding has already been taken. The environmental group Beyond Toxic sent a letter to Governor Tina Kotek urging her to support the Environmental Protection Agency's request to add the J.H. Baxter facility to the Superfund National Priorities List. The active Bethel Community Organization has also endorsed this action. We need this for our, our community. And we need it to be a healthy place to live and to get all of the uh, dioxins and the heavy metals and all the different poisons that are obviously in those tanks uh, removed. And Lynn Woodridge serves as the co-chair of the active Bethel community. She says the contamination has left an unforgettable scar on the local area. She has been working with the EPA and DEQ to get more funding for a massive cleanup operation. They've already gone through and done the testing and determined what was in the tanks and, um, and how to remove it, and it's quite expensive. And J.H. Baxter itself is not willing to, um, to take on those costs. Coming up in the 5 o'clock newscast, we'll look at the benefits the local community could receive if this site is listed as a Superfund site. Reporting in Eugene, Julio Mar Rodriguez, KEZI 9 News. Julio, thank you.